Last night, Jack Skelly, Winnipeg's consummate football fan, flew into this city with the rest of his buddies. Skelly, who had booked his plane reservation a year ago, has supported the Bombers for 29 years, and in that time missed only one home game. The group, which brought its own non-drinking driver, didn't even bother to check into their hotel. They went straight to the bar. Norman Cheer is a Winnipeg police officer. Oh, it's really good. I'll tell you, the people here are having a good time. This is excellent. I'll tell you. 72 hours to the Great Cup. You going to continue to party straight through? Uh, I'm afraid we have to, yeah. 500 kilometers away, there was a party on rails heading towards Edmonton. 340 Winnipeg fans on board a special via passenger train. Bombers! They're the best, and they will be in 84 and 85. Oh, I need coffee. <laughs> Can we cut? <laughs> Please. Some people managed to sneak away to the baggage car to get some sleep. Finally, the 18-hour journey ended when they arrived in Edmonton at 7 this morning. Let the party begin. <laughs> All right. We made it! <laughs> Bombers! 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 The largest and probably loudest contingent of fans is from Winnipeg. Many chose to come by train, an 18-hour trip that provides plenty of time to get into the Grey Cup spirit. Like all the Bomber fans, we're up for it. We're going to make it all the way with no sleep. We're going to make it the whole weekend. They also had time to practice songs that show little respect for Hamilton's quarterback. Hamilton fans are fewer in number and only slightly less noisy. We made it, though. Yeah. We're going to do it. Yeah, Tigers! We're going to blow them away. Blow them away. One fan who came to watch the Thai Cats is a man who played for them in eight Grey Cups. And though his old teammates are underdogs, Angelo Mosca thinks they can win. 1984, the year the Winnipeg Blue Bombers would finally answer the prayer. The hottest single on the Winnipeg music charts also happens to be... Picture taken with the Grey Cup, and we should note that there is more silverware on the line tonight. The CFL Player Awards and Bombers sensational running back Michael Richardson is up for Rookie of the Year, and most observers think he'll win it. For the second year in a row, the Bombers have a running back nominated for a CFL award. Last year, Robert Mims was a finalist for Outstanding Player. This year, he was out of work in Winnipeg. A bruising rookie named Michael Richardson.